I have been writing a few more blog posts for our sites recently. So most of our content is outsourced to all our writers, but I really enjoy writing actually. So I've been writing a few articles also a bit more for GoDownsize recently. So I wanted to offer some advice on how to write faster and how to get that content flowing a little better. So my first tip there is to use your best time for writing. Figure out when you have the absolute best energy throughout the day. So for me, this is probably not early in the evening, sometimes at night, but also in the middle of the day, I find that I just have the best energy for it. And uh, when it's not time for you to write, when you're tired and when you're not, not just in the mood, you can use that time for researching and getting ready with these articles and go through some of the next tips that I have in this video to just to prepare for a really good time of effective writing. So that can also be listening to podcasts or videos or just get yourself more familiar with the niche and the topics you're gonna write on so you know some of the basic stuff and the lingo. So my next tip here is to learn some shortcuts so you'll just type faster. So there's shortcuts for a lot of things in WordPress like subheadings and lists and many other things. And I also like to use the stream deck. So this is something that I saw on Carl's channel. If you don't know Carl, he's a great guy and uh, here's his channel. And he uses this stream deck that I saw in his video. And I reached out to him and asked, what is this thing sitting on your desk when you're working? And he told me about it. So it's developed for streaming, like putting videos on Twitch or YouTube or whatever. So probably most for gamers, but it's really a device that can be used for a lot of other things. You just put in a few shortcuts on it. So I have one with this is like 12 or 15 buttons. I'll put a picture here and I'll probably also pop in an affiliate link in the description if you're interested in it. So you can program it and that's very, very easy. I can like write one line of JavaScript or whatever. You don't know how to, you don't need to know how to do that but you just assign buttons to either one task or to open a program or a sequence of things. So you can, for example, press one button and have it open a window and move the cursor and do other things. So yeah, so you can have a whole sequence of things. So I use that, for example, to pop up uh, when I'm writing to pop up um, a folder with images or it could be to open another program or open Canva or open something else. Just extra shortcuts that you have at your tip of your fingers. So that's very, very convenient and can also definitely speed up your writing. And then I like to prepare in bulk. So not only for writing similar articles that I like I've talked about a few times where you can batch some similar articles, but also for example to have a set time where you will go out and shoot like 50 pictures for your blog. So you know that you have some great pictures once it's time to write. So let's say you're working on this new cluster, this new category about 10, 15 articles about the same product or whatever. Make sure that you have those pictures ready and edited and sitting there in WordPress. You can just grab them, put them in so you can hit publish once you're done. So batching, uh, tasks like that is also something that can be really helpful and save you a lot of time. Because sometimes I would just go out and shoot one picture for one blog post and obviously that's not a very good use of my time. If I could go out and shoot like 50 pictures in a few hours and then just be done with it. So another thing you can also batch and do like in bulk you can say is to set up all the affiliate links before you get started on your writing. So if you go into the stores and you just find the right products and you set up those links whether you're using pretty links or a thirsty affiliates or whatever, if you are using a plugin to set up these links, you can do that and have them ready just sitting there so you can easily pop them into the article. That can also speed up things. Lastly, make sure that you have the outline ready for probably at least five articles. Where you've created all the subheadings, you have an overall idea of the article. So when you sit down to write, you can just get right to it and you don't have to first figure out what this article should be about or even worse, figure out what you are gonna write about in general. So do your topic research in batches and, and do the outline. I like to do the outline for the article as I find the topic. So when I'm doing the topic research, instead of finding like 15 different titles for blog posts and then creating all the outlines, that's just pretty boring, I think. So I find one article idea and then I do the headline and I also do the whole outline. So I find all the subheadings. I do that, then I move on to the next article doing my topic research. I hope that makes sense. But for me, that speeds up things quite a lot and just makes it a lot easier when it's time to write and now you have that good energy that you have a topic you can pick 
and it's just ready for you to write on it because you already gave it some thought and you have the outline and you know some of the basic stuff that it's about because you watched a few videos, listened to a few podcasts and now you can just get in that writing groove. Let me know if you have any other tips and uh, otherwise I'll just see you next time. Mm -hmm.